So, you may have a car in your shop and you need to look at the monitors or Mode 6 data. If you are hooked to the Enhanced Powertrain module, you will notice that the monitors are grayed out. To view this, all you need to do is switch to the generic Powertrain module. First, go down to the bottom left and hit Change. This will bring up your list of modules. Choose Generic Powertrain and hit Apply. Once it connects, you can see that monitors are not grayed out any longer. To view the monitors, click on that icon. In the monitors view, you will see the Mode 6 data. This can take a minute depending on what vehicle you are hooked up to. Some vehicles are very quick at opening the monitors and some are not. The vehicle we're working on right now is an Audi, and it has a lot of tests listed in Mode 6, so it takes some time for it to load. The newer the vehicle, the longer this will take, so be patient. Once it loads, this is going to look the same on basically any vehicle you're working on. You will see the monitors at the top. If they show green, they pass. If they show red, they have not passed. Under the monitors, you will see the comprehensive tests, which are what each monitor looks at to determine if it passes or fails. This is a great place to look for misfire data if the vehicle doesn't have that data point. The tests also show how close to failing or passing. Often, you can find the definition of the tests in your all data repair information. This is a great way to see if you have actually fixed a vehicle after repair. Say you had an EVAP code and replaced a part to fix it. If the EVAP monitor now shows passed, then you have successfully fixed the vehicle. If the monitor shows not completed, then it still hasn't run or it failed. If it failed, you should have either a pending code or active code present. This would mean the problem still persists. The other thing that you can find in generic powertrain mode is the federally mandated PIDs that a vehicle must have listed. This can be really helpful in understanding fuel trim and other items when a vehicle uses different terminology. So, in summary, all you need to do to view monitors and Mode 6 information is to switch to the generic powertrain module. Once there, that data will be available.